Hello YouTube. Alright, Fedora 13 is out. It's time to give it a spin. Hope it doesn't suck as much as 12 does. We're going to try installing it now. It does the same sort of thing that Mint does, the automatic boot. Boot. I've given this thing about 512 megabytes of RAM because, you know, it doesn't really need that much just for it to run. <laughs> Still has that thing. The bar. Apologize for this washed out quality. It's kind of crappy and annoying. Alright, I let it boot up and now I have the uh, Installer running, which looks pretty standard to me, actually. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Basic storage devices, which includes... Well, that's basic. <laughs> Installs or upgrades to typical types of storage devices. If you're not sure which option is right for you, this is probably it. That simplifies it. And the specialized uh, storage devices are for things such as storage area networks, SANs, or mainframe attached disks, DASDs, D-A-S-D, usually in an enterprise environment. So this is where the web, so this is for the server room, this is for your computer. And there's the VirtualBox hard disk, and I'll check that off. Click next again. Warning. Warning, you will lose data that's not even there. Whatever. Reinitialize re 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 all. Of course, you get your host name. I'm going to call it Minty VBox <laughs> Fed. Minty B. Minty B. So, Minty for Linux Mint, VBox for VirtualBox, and Fed <laughs> for. Uh, Fedora, yeah, Fedora is run by the Fed, right. <laughs> All right. Make the root password as usual. I apologize for not doing screen capture, but uh, I don't think this computer can handle it. <laughs> it's a little old. Yes, it's a dictionary word. I don't care, it's a virtual machine. Okay, since this is a, this is a really nicely laid out Installer actually, they they've done a lot for Fedora 13. It just looks the format is just a lot cleaner looking. You can use all the space. You can replace Linux systems. You can shrink another one. You can use free space, and you can create a custom layout. Now, on ordinarily on a uh, regular machine, I'd create a home partition, but since this is a virtual machine, that doesn't matter. So I'm going to use um all the space. Wait, go back. Use all the space. Review the review the layout. I'll just we should probably see what it does. All right, it creates an LVM of uh, the root partition the, and the swap partition. All right, okay, yeah. It just creates a root and a swap, and that's it. So it's still the same as last one. That's fine. Format. I don't care. All right, changes to the disk. Keep in mind this is 512, I've given this thing 512 megs of RAM because you don't need a whole, because you don't need a lot of RAM. You, it's just not required to install it, you know. And once I get virtual machine, once I get virtual machine editions installed, um, I'll probably pop up the RAM to like one or two gigabytes, probably one. Look at it go, 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 go. It uses ext4 as a standard file system, which is good to see if you're using SATA drives. If you're using IDE drives, however, I would recommend not using ext4. It has problems. But install a bootloader onto the uh, master boot record, and here it goes. It's installing now. Does the usual copying live image to the hard drive. It's moving very smoothly. It's, it's, wow. It's looking great, actually. 
This is a big improvement over 12 so far. Because in 12, I had the installer crash. You do you know how pathetic that is, that the installer crashes? Yeah. Fedora 13 is looking very stable and so far and very uh, robust. It's looking more like a, it's looking more like a 10 and 11 did. I didn't like 12 at all. And I know Tim, I know you're not too fond of Fedora. <laughs> it seems, but it it but I think your but it looks like your experience with it has just been absolute crap. So that's the impression you took away from it, but you know I think Fedora is worth testing on real hardware when uh, giving it a solid review because, uh, I don't know, I've had Fedora play weird with virtual machines, I've had it play weird with real hardware too, but it turns out that Fedora 12 was just a crappy, crappy version of Fedora, so, you know. It's installing pretty fast all this time I've been talking. and. Uh, just to save time, I'll just let this install and get back to you.